What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Greetings from the past and from outer space. Greetings from space time, fellow space time travelers. I'm the Sporkinator. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. That was an unnecessarily long intro. But in the last episode, this prankster comet appeared like right at the end. So in this episode, we'll be checking it out and we're gonna see what it is. And I actually don't remember, so we'll be surprised together, I suppose, a little bit, even though I have played this before. Daredevil Comet in orbit. Oh, good lord. I hate Daredevil Comets. Anyway, this is new. This is gonna be Top Maniac's Daredevil Run. I suppose I shall explain. A Daredevil Run is usually a boss fight or something. And you only get one health. One hit, and you die. So yeah, that sounds like fun. One hit from that electric fence, and you're dead. One hit from the boss, and you're dead. Luckily, the way they've set this one up is you don't actually have to walk all the way to the boss from the beginning of the level. They just take you right there, as you can see. So, wish me luck. This is going to be intense. At least I think it is. We just have to beat Top Man, or Top Maniac, whatever, without getting hurt. Luckily, those guys don't actually hurt you, so everything's fine there. But if they push you into the electric fence, though, that could be problematic. So watch out for that. Gotta jump on this guy again. Shove him against that stupid fence. If I can, there we go. I'm getting really close to that electric fence, like way too close for comfort. That was real close, too. Holy crap, man. Finish him! Holy cow! First try! Oh, that's fantastic. I'm relieved. I'm relieved. Good job. You got the thing. First try. Ba -ba -boom. I'm going to consider myself lucky. That was luck. Luck and skill, but luck nonetheless. Holy cow. I always get nervous in Daredevil runs. I'm not used to the whole die in one hit thing. I mean, I've done this all before, don't get me wrong, but good lord. Rosalina's library has opened. Now you can read the storybook. Oh, man. That's interesting. I just want to double check and make sure we did everything here for now. Don't think there's anything left to get here, so we're gonna go back. I could check out the storybook now, but it unlocks only one chapter at a time. So I may actually put that off until all the chapters are unlocked, so I may actually do that closer to the end of the game. But for now, we're gonna take a look at the new dome we unlocked, which I believe is the kitchen? And I'm not sure which way is the best way to get to it, but I think you can go this direction and find it quite easily. Maybe Rosalina will tell, tell me about the library. Can you tell me anything about it? I mean, I know it's a storybook, but still. No, she just tells us about the Comet Observatory flying to the center of the universe. So, I guess we're off to the kitchen. Which I know is up here, so it's fine. There's the library. The library's in there, so if you ever want to read the storybook, just go in there. I'm not going to do it right now, unfortunately. I mean, I could, but eh. Might as well read the whole story at once. Otherwise, I'll have to, like, you know, if I read part one chapter in one episode, another chapter in the next episode, or, like, many episodes down the line, you might have trouble remembering the earlier ones. So, just for the sake of making things easy to understand, I want to, I'd rather just read all the chapters back to back and get that over, um, get that over with later. We have already discovered the enemy base in the region, because I'm collecting all stars as I go. We can only hope they are not use misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Oh, don't kid yourself! They're always misusing it. That's what they do! They're terrible people! Look at all these wonderful things that are available to us, and this one is not available, strangely enough. I guess we'll start with a small one and work our way up. Not sure if the small one would be unlocked right away or not. But there are, though. We'll get to those later. There's only one star on this one anyway. This is Bubble Breeze Galaxy. So, this should actually be pretty fun. I may even get an opportunity to collect 100 coins just for poops and giggles. Because I think this is where I can do that, in Through the Poison Swamp of Bubble Breeze Galaxy. It's the only star here, though, so I don't even know why they gave it a name. They should have just called it Poison Swamp Galaxy. It's not even a galaxy. It's like one freaking planet. It's like Super Mario Galaxy loosely loosely uses the term galaxy, I tell you what. It's really quite strange in a way when you think about it. 
there are these things here. Do these even serve a purpose? Can they can they bust the exploding mine things? Okay, I didn't think so. They're just there as a trap of some kind. Captain Toad, status report. Woo! The wind sure is strong here, eh? Don't you think it'd be awesome if you could ride that wind? I mean, yeah, I guess, but how do you expect to do that? Pickaxe Toad! Dig for gold! Our glorious starship, the Starshroom, it crashed. Have you tried turning it off and on again, sir? This is a poisonous swamp. If you fall in there, you're done for. So, basically, it's instant death, I would assume. What's over here, though? There seems to be some interesting things over here. I think this is Star Bits if I spin here, right? Is this an alternate path, or is this where I'm supposed to go? This is probably where I'm supposed to go, actually. Ow! I think I broke my bubble bone. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, man. There's no such thing as a double... Uh, as a double bone. A bubble bone. Who was the writer that put that in the game? I'm sorry, but they're fired. I like puns, but that was not even a pun. Hey, before you write any bubbles, let yours truly fill board bend your ear for a sec. You can move around in your bubble by holding down A, but do it while your thing is blowing on the bubble. If you go too far to one side, use your thing to blow on the other side. Ah, so we have to blow ourselves around in a bubble, as it were. Oh, so this looks fun, right? Better not bump into anything sharp and fall into the poison swamp. That would just be absolutely terrible. Oh, there's star chips here? Oh, well, I guess I better get those. Is there anything over here, though? I think I can resist the wind's influence. It's not that strong, so it's not actually meant to be an obstacle, but only like a minor obstacle, I guess. And I guess if you get all these question mark things, you can collect coins. But my only question is, what is the point of this? There's literally no point to collecting these coins unless you get, like, 50 of them. I guess you could do this if you're going for lives. And just for the heck of it, I will do it. I'll keep collecting coins as I go through here. So there's not too much reason not to. I do kind of want to show this off, because it's kind of neat to show everything off, but... Where am I going from here? I think I'm supposed to go this way? Just don't want to touch the spiky things. That would be bad, obviously. That's pretty much common sense. Oh, nope, 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 nope. There's another starship. I've only got two. That's kind of worrying. I thought I would have had more than that by now. Oh, there's a third one. I'm feeling better. Everything's okay. Oh, jeez. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Wow, that's amazing. I thought there was supposed to be another question mark thing to make, make more coins appear. Hope I didn't miss it. Because like I said, I'm doing the thing where I get as many coins as I can. There's the last starship. I have a feeling I missed it. As I can see it now at the edge of my screen. Oh, I see. I didn't miss it. It's coming up. That's what it's doing. Might as well get these before I move on. I'm not going to be collecting it, collecting coins in any level except for this one, so you don't have to worry. This is not going to become a regular thing. Me collecting 100 yellow coins, or golden coins, as it were. There we go. I guess if we actually want these, we have to go back. Which is a little bit of a shame. It's kind of out of our way. Maybe there was an alternate approach where this would actually be more streamlined. I don't know. I don't suppose it matters too much. Just got to get these two more. Come on, Mario. Just get it. There we go. Floaty, floaty, floaty. I feel like I'm no good at this. This is gonna, this is gonna bite me in the future. This is not this is not the only time where we're gonna be floating in a bubble. So I am kind of somewhat worried about this. What's all? Is this the starting area? This is not the starting area, is it? I could drop here, but do I want to? Is there another bubble machine nearby? What the heck, man? Don't know what I'm doing. Oh, have I gone back to the start? Oh, that's a shame. I've gone back to the freaking start. Well, this is embarrassing. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. We're going through the toxic maze. It's a poison swamp, so it's kind of like the... Reminds me of the toxic maze from Super Mario 64. Even though it's completely different. It doesn't have poison gas. It just has poison water, I guess. This is taking a bit longer than I had expected. Whatever. I'm, uh, I'm dropping here. So I thought I already did this, but apparently there's star bits here. And I'm getting lost in that stupid maze. So dumb. Alright, you know what? I give up. I've been literally everywhere. I'm moving on. Oh, there's a second part to this? Okay. I did not realize that. Hey, I forgot to tell you something. So, if you get in a bubble and you want to get back to the surface, just press Z to get down. 
Oh yeah, and if you get pinched between moving obstacles, that big bubble's going to burst, so watch out. Jeez, holy crap. This is where the rest of the coins are. See, I could have swore there was one more secret to find in the first area, but I guess I was wrong, because I literally just kept wandering around aimlessly looking for it, and I never found it. I'm... yeah, I should have just, uh... Instead of trying to rely on my foggy memories of this, I should have just gone with the flow. There's not even much point to doing what I'm trying to do anyway, which is to collect 100 normal coins, even though nothing will happen. But we can get these star bits out here. We're finally doing things again instead of wandering around aimlessly. I don't have to cut a lot of that out. That was just painful. That was just painfully stupid. Oh, shoot! Did I just die? You're freaking kidding me! You're kidding me, man. Now, now I lost all my coins. So screw it, I'm returning to the obs frickin' observatory and I'm starting this crap over. Oh, Okay, I'm back. Oh man, that was intense, having to collect all those coins over again. And like I said, this is completely pointless, but I still insist on doing it. I was planning on doing this from the start, like... When I first started the Let's Play, I was planning on collecting 100 coins here just for poops and giggles. And I don't have to, but... I insist, I was planning on doing this from the very beginning, so that's why I'm doing this. But anyway, jeez, man. All we gotta do is try this again. Because I know I know I can get 100 coins here, I've done it before. And I just feel like it would be an injustice not to do this. Because I feel like that's what makes this level special, is that it actually has that many coins. Because I'm pretty sure all the other ones don't. And that's what makes them kind of... I don't know, just... I don't know what, what to say about that, but... Not really much point to collecting 100 coins, but like I said, doing it anyway. I'm also getting these star bits all over again, because when I exited the level, I didn't get to take any of the star bits with me. So that is a bit of a disappointment. So now we just gotta get out of here. Is this where I died last time? I think it is. I think I got, like, pinched in between the wood and the wall or something, and that popped my bubble. I think that's what happened. So let's hope for that to not happen this time. See, here's a bunch of coins here. Finally gonna reach 50 pretty soon. There we go. Just move cautiously, slowly, no need to rush. Don't even touch the wood, man. The wood's dangerous. The wood has splinters in it. It should pop the bubble instantly. Luckily it doesn't, though, so we don't have to worry about that. But what I really need to do is keep going, press forward. There should be more coins around here, but I'm not seeing them. It's kind of strange. There's gotta be, like, a decision somewhere coming up. I think there's, like, two paths you can take at some point. I think this sign may even explain it. So if I read this, this should tell us all about it. East. Path for experts only. South. Shortcut. So I'm gonna go for the expert path, because I think that's where all the coins are. So I think the trick here is to hit this switch, run back to the bubble, and then go through before the gate shuts. And this is how you get all the coins. A ton of fun. And by the way, I'm making save states as I go through this, so another death is not going to cost me a bunch of time to have to redo the first coin collection, because screw that noise, man. Whether I do it off-screen or use save states, the end result is still going to be the same after editing, really, so that's just how it goes. I've got 89 coins now, so as you can see, it actually is pretty easy to get 100 here. And when I get this question mark thing that's over here, I do believe this will reveal more coins for us to collect, because that seems to be their only purpose in this level, is to make coins appear. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. This gate opens by itself. It's very strange. And that's 100 coins. And as you can see, nothing happened. So, that's just a fun little thing I wanted to show, is to actually go for 100 coins and show that nothing happens. Pointless as it was, I'm glad I got that done. Now, if I die here, I'm gonna be mad a little bit. But, but, I won't even bother with those coins over there. Unless that gate opens by itself, then I might. Does it open? Not from this side, I'd have to go to the other side, but I've got already got 100 coins now, so... I'm not that picky. I don't even care that I got hurt just now, because the star's right here, so we're done. We're done. Good job! You got the thing! In the most pointless way! Definitely in the most pointless way. All that coin collecting, jeez. There was no need for me to do any of that. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm a little bit sorry about that. But it's done, so that's behind us now. 
It's 110% legit. I happen to have exactly 110 coins. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't even keep count once I reached 100. A new chapter has been added to the storybook, so I guess that's like chapter 2 then is now unlocked. Uh, we're not going to save yet, because I do have a lot to edit out, so... I may go for one more star here, because my timer says I've been going for 22 minutes, but with all the time I wasted on those coins, there's going to be a lot to cut out, so I don't believe we're done yet. So, before we end, I suppose we'll go to a new galaxy, since that one's done and that little one over there is still unavailable. This is Beach Bowl Galaxy. Oh boy, I bet this is going to be fun. I remember this level actually seriously being a ton of fun. It's like, water levels kind of suck in, in a lot of games, and they were okay in Super Mario 64, but I think in Super Mario Galaxy, water levels are kind of a non-issue, I think. I actually enjoy them a little bit. And this one is called Sunken Treasure, so I guess there's stuff to do underwater, as they are showing us here. We get to collect star chips underwater, I think. Man, do I die if I go off the edge of the, the water over there? I guess I do, but how likely is that to actually happen? Yeah, this beach bowl is pretty much penguin paradise. It's a tropical place and you're a penguin! You should be in cold weather, you're probably sweating to death. Or maybe these are highly evolved penguins that have been living in a warm climate for a long time. I guess that is theoretically possible. Like, if evolution like that is actually a thing. I mean, there is, like, adaptation and stuff, but do penguins even have genetic information for changing to adapt to warmer climates? Wouldn't they have to? Then again, I'm no biology expert, so don't even trust what I say. Jeez, man. We can get more air from the air bubbles. And the air is separate from your health, so... You need coins for health and air bubbles for air. You need both, not just one or the other will cut it. But luckily you don't actually lose health while underwater unless you get hurt. So there's that to keep in mind. There's this big ugly fish over here trying to make trouble for me when I'm trying to get this darn star chip. Luckily he didn't get me. There's another one up there. I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll surface... I didn't, mean, I didn't really want to surface, but I guess I will. Oh, this button centers the camera behind me? Oh, so it's not the ground pound button, it's the one, uh, it's a different button. So never mind the details there. I was trying to figure out how I did that last time, because I know the last time I played this game, I was able to center the camera behind me as I turned. I just couldn't remember what friggin' button it was. I thought it was the ground pound button, but no, it's, it's a different button. I don't even know which button it is, because I'm actually playing this half with an Xbox 360 controller and half with a mouse, so... I don't even know. Where was that star chip at? I could have swore I saw a star chip when I was down by that big fish, and I came up to get it, now I don't see it. There's also a... it's not a warp pipe, never mind. I thought it was a warp pipe, it's just an air bubble dispenser. Alright, there's the big ugly fish again. He's not actually gonna come out to get me, so I think we're okay. Camera? I think I'll swim slowly for a change. It's not a star chip, it's just a coin. I could've swore it was a star chip. Never mind, I just wasted a ton of time. That's another star chip over there, there's no doubting that. Because that's definitely not round, that is a piece of the Triforce. I mean the star. Only two so far? Man, you'd think they'd be more visible if they're all in this same general area. Won't touch the spiky thing. It's obviously doom, destruction, and death waiting for us. So that's three. There's gotta be two more around here somewhere. See if I can't find it. Or find them. I should probably bust the crates open. Holy crap, dude. It was hiding in the crate. What does this guy have to say? Can you talk to him? Wanna swim faster? Try spinning. Oh, that's true. Very true, good sir. I can even jump out of the water if I do this right, I think. Well, not like that. That's not what I meant. I think, like, right. Yeah, you can do, like, a dive like that. I don't, even, don't know if you really saw what happened there. Oh, there's the last star chip hiding inside the clam. Very, very sneaky. If I could get the camera to cooperate, that'd be nice. But I think the swimming controls in this game are actually not too bad. They could be better, but... I guess water controls have always been challenging for some reason for game developers. Not too sure why. But now I'm questioning where that star appeared at. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Flying through space, baby, even though it doesn't really look like space. It's kind of nice that even though this is supposed to be like a space-themed game involving galaxies and stars and stuff, they still put like the tropical themes and stuff like that in the game, so... It's not just ominous space. Oh, it's the water theme! That's amazing! The underwater theme from Super Mario Brothers. Do, do. I'm not collecting these very fast. I'm kind of ruining the song, man. Do, 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 do. What does that do? Well, that was nothing important. It was just an extra life. See, I thought I had to do that for some reason. I don't know why. I'm gonna crush you and get a coin, good sir, because I'm a little bit low on health, because I got hit once. 
getting hit once makes you low on health. How do I get that one up, though? What does this do? Oh, well, would you, would you look at that? Guess I probably have to go up there anyway, so... It's not a total waste of time, I would think. You know what, Wiggler? I don't even care about you. I'm getting my extra life. I'm calling it a day. Oh, shoot. Holy crap. Now I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to go up there right now or not. Doesn't seem possible. I might go talk to that rabbit over there, assuming that he is up for conversation. So, good sir, would you please tell me what I should do? Can I talk to you, please? If you want to grab something up high, spin after you jump. Oh, okay. Is there anything cool over here? Oh, I think at this point I'd be going back. That's the starting area. So, I guess I'll hit that switch again and maybe try to get up to that place that I failed to get to before. All right, you nuisance, get out of my way. I need star bits anyway, so I will sacrifice your life for my petty star bit needs. But seriously, I think I'm supposed to hit that switch and get up there somehow. I probably need to take a shortcut here with a triple jump and a wall kick or something. So, I'll give that a try. One, two, three. Okay, that did not work. Turn around jump, turn around jump, please, Mario. Wow, are you serious? Of course, if I'm gonna triple jump and spin, maybe I don't even need that stupid switch after all. Well, that works, I'll take it. What does this do? Oh, is this one also time limited? So you kinda have to jump back and forth here like this. I wanna talk to that penguin down there, though. Pardon me, sir. <laughs> sir? Wow. It was just a stupid hint to do what I already did. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just like talking to the NPCs in this game for some reason. Well, without further ado, let's get our star. This is a 29 minute video. I hope it'll be a lot shorter after editing. Hopefully 25 at most, but anyway. Good job. You got the thing. Ta-da. boom Aha! Very nice indeed. That's 29 stars. And high scores updated that we don't even care about. 848. Oh, a hungry Luma. I like how these always appear like right at the end of the episode when I'm about to quit. It seems to happen every single freaking time. But anyway, I'm the Sporkinator. Thank you for watching. And may we meet again in the future.